As a pig farmer, you know that sustainability is doing what's right for people, pigs, and the planet. However, doing what's right must be shared with today's savvy consumers to help grow public trust in pig farming while protecting your freedom to operate. To measure and document your farm sustainability efforts, National Pork Board encourages you to create a free on-farm sustainability report. These reports can help increase production efficiencies and improve your bottom line. Request your free report at porkcheckoff.org forward slash sustainability. Sometimes in life, you find yourself on the right side of the line. Do you think there's a little PTSD somewhere in there in the biathlon? I mean, you've got somebody <laughs> wore out to their wits end, and now you're going to hand them a rifle? <laughs> Is that really I mean, a good idea? I mean, I'd be like that one girl, Carrie Strug, and she made that jump with a broken ankle. I could do that. Live from Texas, this is the Dryline Farmer Podcast. You hear that? It's Brent and Landon, and this is the Dryline Farmer Podcast. Yes, ma'am, it is the Dryline Farmer Podcast, and it is just Landon and Brent this week, as it most of the time is, even though it hasn't really been the case the last, not even weeks, but months. Landon, I'm trying to remember what season, whenever I have to put in my metadata for you know the episode, whenever I upload this thing, are we in season three? I think we're in season three, aren't we? I would assume so. Maybe season four, even. Yeah. Well, I've been putting... This is episode 100 and something. Like, not 40, but it's getting close. But whatever the case, we've been hard at this... Well, we've been at this thing for uh, going on three years now. So, And, uh, of course, we're a part of the Global Ag Network and proud to be a part of it. So, anyway, Landon, did you have a big old Christmas? Did, um, you know, get all that nonsense taken care of? We had a pretty good... We had a pretty good Christmas, pretty good time. Yeah, did uh, yeah. It was a great pagan holiday had by all. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, you get all these people on there. It's like, oh, it's a pagan holiday. Do you even know what pagan means? I don't think they know what it means. But anyway, I listened to an interesting uh, podcast about the actual make or the actual beginnings of celebrating Christmas. I mean, I kind of know the whole Jesus thing, but <laughs> the actual celebration and festivities of the Christmas holiday and where Santa Claus kind of originated from. There was actually a St. Nick and he was a pretty like he got like martyred and all kinds of stuff. He was a pretty legit dude back in the like, gosh, I don't know, three or four hundreds or something. But uh, he's huh? He's not still alive. Well, not that one. He uh he got marred. Santa Claus got martyred. <laughs> they ought to make that into a song. <laughs> Santa Claus got martyred by a reindeer or something like that. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, yeah, that would uh may not go well over with the kids. But uh whatever the case. But so we're uh, got through all that and uh, I was listening to somebody else today too was talking about that those depressing days in between Christmas and New Year's. You're you know you're got all done with the family, but now you're trying to, if you're a single guy, you're trying to figure out what you're going to do between now and New Year's, and then hopefully you can start your life all the way over again on January the 2nd, <laughs> so uh, it's a really depressing seven days. It's a depressing set or five days for me because uh, the markets are just really flat and un- un- uninteresting, so, um, you know, I kind of, I get in the doldrums of that, but I guess... There's always another day to trade coming. Thank you, Mason. That's my nine-year-old screaming up the hallway, going back upstairs. So uh, anyway, it's great and wonderful. But um, what do you do? You have is there a uh, emotion that you go through during these days between Christmas and New Year's? Not really. I just I just kind of look forward to like three weeks into the new year when all the newcomers at the gym give up. <laughs> three weeks you know it goes back to normal it gets less and less every year it used to go till february but I, oh i'm surprised it made it make people make it that far i'm too you know I, i'm usually like a, i would figure like a week so our uh our elliptical is uh <laughs> it might get st- start getting used here on <laughs> january the second but uh it's i'm gonna have to uh get some cobwebs out of it and 
I don't know, maybe uh, make sure it's still plugged in and the outlet works. I don't know. So it's you a, going for tone? I'm going for tone and I'm also going for endurance. <laughs> 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 but um, I'm sure that'll last like it always does, which is not very long. So, yeah, I, I'm really uh, I'm always entertained when I go by the former your former workout facility. It's now isn't it now a vape shop <laughs> next to yeah, next is. to Little Caesars. The old uh, workout facility is now a vape shop. Vape 100? Yeah, yeah. It went from, uh, I guess it's an upgrade because it was, what was it, 24-7 fitness to 100 vapes or something. So at least the numbers are getting bigger. <laughs> True. Which I'm I, I'm betting that's kind of like people um, building their business next to a Chick-fil-A because putting a vape shop next to a right in the same building as a pizza store. I mean, I guess the workout facility kind of had the same idea putting it next to a pizza store. Yeah, uh, it was a lot better. You could go you could go work out and then go go carbo load. So, like one piece of pizza is what like 2-300 calories. One and, piece? Yeah. Isn't it like I know it's at least I know because I've read it because we go there we go to Domino's a lot. So, maybe the Domino's pieces are higher calorie, but I know the it says like one piece is like freaking 200 calories or something. It's so awesome. How long would it take you to burn off 200 calories? Oh, probably about uh, like a cardiovascular workout. If I, was, if I was, if I was running, I'd say, I'd say 10 minutes. I think, I think if I run really? for like, I think if I run for 35 minutes, I think it's like 500 something. If I run like three miles. Well, I won't be worrying about calories if I'm running for more than five minutes because I'll be dead by that point. But uh, yeah, right so my uh, my uh, elliptical, which I guess everybody does it, supposedly counts the calories you're burning as you're going along. So, um, but it takes a long time to burn like a hundred calories, and that's like one beer. So I don't know. I'm not standing up the elliptical that long. Maybe I guess I need to turn it up and. Maybe increase the You'd probably burn little. like eighty calories cleaning off the clothes off the elliptical just so you could use it. No, we don't. It's not a clothes. It's not a treadmill. <laughs> I mean, th this would be more like a. I don't know what it would. It's not a clothesline. Be more like a. Well, I guess you could hang shirts from the from the handlebars, I guess, but not. It doesn't have the uh, stuff like the treadmill. But whatever the case. We aren't really here to talk about that. We've got, or at least, I don't know, maybe Landon's filled stuff out since the last seven minutes that we've been talking, but um, we've got bingo cards. We've got bingo spaces that we filled out for 2022, and um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lock in a, a loss on mine because if any, if many of these bingo spaces on my card get filled, we've got serious damn trouble coming because it's um, they're not just the everyday spaces. I mean, I've got a couple that are, Somewhat reasonable, somewhat maybe reachable, and but others are just um, I don't know. They seem a little far out. But uh, Landon, did you did you finally come up with some? I got a little prep. I've, I've done I've done some prep. You've done some pre show pre show work. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's get started. So for bingo for twenty twenty two, we've got our bingo spaces all set up. So uh, I'm just going to start here. Do we need to start in the corners, or do we want to start with the center square? I'm going to start with the center square just because I like it so much. It's like, is this like Texas bingo? Uh, I don't know. What's Texas bingo? Well, it's bingo, but you do like... You oh, the pick, shape of Texas? No, you pick one of the letters, T-E-X-A or S. Oh, no, I just started writing shit down. No, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is just bingo, <laughs> bingo. So my center square I've got, and um, I didn't do this in any certain order. It just happened to find itself to the center square, kind of like... Um, Hollywood squares, but uh, people quit taking pictures of their stupid food. You think that'll? Do you think that'll get taken? Uh, be, be xed out? No, no. Like the first. What do you think it's gonna last? Like probably maybe twelve oh one, twelve oh two on New Year's morning. Because <laughs> why? Why do? Why does everybody think their prime rib or their meat is so special? I don't know, man. I, I... Any food, who who cares? I know, unless you're making like um, no, nothing. Unless yeah. <laughs> unless you're eating another person, maybe you maybe you picture that, and I'll be impressed. 
which that's actually actually one of my uh, squares. But yeah, uh, if, if somebody took a picture of a forearm on a plate, I'd, that that would get my attention. If somebody's eating Bigfoot, I would be impressed. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, so that's my that's my center square. Now, um, I'm gonna move over to I'm gonna move over I'm gonna go up here to the corner here. Arbor Day will become an official national holiday because we don't have enough official national holidays where local co-op corporations take the day off. We need we need some more. Yeah. Arbor Day. Now, Columbus Day is loosely some some places that kids take this day off. Co-ops don't get that one off. The the reservations what don't? Co-ops. Co-ops don't get Columbus Day off. Really? He Not found the, the new I... world? <laughs> <laughs> Not the one that you work at. Well, you know, yours is more of a 19th century co-op. Okay, Landon, give me one of yours. Okay, my center square is, in 2022, a woman wins at a women's sporting event. <laughs> I'm thinking you got a pretty good shot at getting that one blacked out. Maybe, maybe. Oh, I wonder if there's been any trannies that were women that wanted to be men start playing in men's sports. I don't know if they've seen that yet. At least they they don't make the news anyway. I mean, I guess maybe if it was chess or something, I don't think they sex it up by they don't sex them in the chess competitions. But maybe that's yeah, possible. That one probably doesn't matter. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Uh, well, since we're in that sexual part of the world, Colonel Sanders, a Colonel Sanders sex tape emerges. Um, <laughs> Which uh, one though? Like uh, extra Reba? crispy. Who's who's playing Colonel Sanders in this? <laughs> like Jim Gaffigan or something? No, this is the actual <laughs> Colonel Sanders. It's in black and white, and it's in that it's in that film speed where everybody's moving real fast. <laughs> like, oh, so like the actual guy? Yeah, from like back in the fifties and sixties. Harlan Harland, man, Harlan Sanders. Oh, okay. He's doing the drumstick with some old gal, and it's <laughs> you know, it's that's where he got <laughs> yeah. the original recipe from. That's what he called his. That's what he called his old lady. The old. Who's that? Oh man, that's the old original recipe right there. I didn't. I didn't know they had turkey legs. <laughs> <laughs> this is a turn. Speaking of, so I was watching some John Madden highlights, and apparently, <clears throat> I kind of thought the turducken originated with the, um, with the old uh, Duck Dynasty guys. No, that predates them a good long ways. John Madden huh. had a turducken on one of the um, Thanksgiving Day games. Of course, this was back in the, I don't know, well, it was in the 90s, cow, during the Cowboys' heyday. Mm-hmm. So anyway, but yeah, he was he had his tele-illustrator out, and he was highlighting it and circling all the, you got the duck, see, you got the duck here, and then you, you spit it open here, and you start, and he was showing how to cut it open. First, you got to go down the middle, and then you cut down the middle, and you go across laterally across the sides, and then you get your duck, and your chicken, and your turkey all in one bite, see? And then Pat I mean, Summerall's lost the whole time, but... <laughs> I miss I miss those days. The the drunk one sounded sober and the sober one sounded drunk. Yeah, right. Yeah. And it was perfect. <laughs> I, and you know, so I was watching. I guess it was the last game they did it together. But I swear, Pat Summerall looked like he had Botox because his skin was freaking tight. And you know, John Madden was sitting there next to him with his. You know, he looked like the turkey with the with the turkey neck and just you know just gar- gobbling away. But um, they were getting all emotional and stuff. But it was pretty nice. Yeah, he looks pretty tired. Now, Pat Summerall, he's been gone for a couple of years, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been gone for a few years, yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. I wonder if, of course, you know, everybody asks, well, I wonder if John Madden had COVID, you know. Hell, he's been, anyway, he's 85. You die from being 85. What did you die from? Being 85, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. He, you know, man, it gets him every time. So, but, uh, okay, um, laying it up the co-op route, $10 corn. You think that one's going to get blacked out? No, I don't think so. You don't think so. I don't think so either. Maybe ten dollars a hundred. Even that even that's pretty hard to reach. Well, we're already there. So Are we yes. there? Okay. I, I can't do the math very good in my head. So we're over yeah. eleven. So we're over eleven. Okay. Well that's good. Well, I may have to price it all tomorrow, even though it may not Yeah. Even though y'all give me shitty feels. Okay. Landon, I've got another one here. Biden's fell face melts off like the Nazis and Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> that kind of that kind of goes in with one of mine one of mine is that there will be three different presidents in 2023. <laughs> so um of course it looks like nancy pelosi's face is already melted off and she painted and she melt and she uh glued one on you know from somebody else but 
whatever. It's like when you eat half a bowl of ice cream and then put you you don't want to finish it, so you put it back in the freezer. (laughs) I've never done that ever in my life. If anything, I go back, I finish the bowl, and then I go back to the cart and start spooning it out of there. (laughs) So, well, if you ever do that, when you pull it back out, it'll look like Pelosi. Oh God, yeah, because it 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 refreezes different. It does. Yeah, it it does. does. It it refreezes like all smooth and kind of glazy. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have that um oh not kind of coarse look, but kind of I don't know, not grainy. It just it's like yeah, it's just like it's smooth ice is kind of what it looks like, yeah. Yeah, that's but it's still and it does kind of taste a little different, I don't know. Maybe it's all placebo effect or in your head. But no, I like that. Yeah. So uh I don't know. What would you think Biden, you know, they what the happened is they looked at the uh, looked inside the Ark of the Covenant made their faces melt. What do you think Biden catches a glimpse of? I'm thinking he <laughs> accidentally catches a, a glimpse of oh uh, the VP in the shower or something. You know, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, maybe, maybe that's what. Okay, I'm gonna move over here. Tupac releases a new album, <laughs> <laughs> and it like sells out in the first week. You know, Is the it, title of it called 2020 Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was quick oh man that was quick right there uh, <laughs> 2020 <good>. tupac <laughs> oh i like that 2020 tupac oh man that was fast and that guys that everybody that was not scripted <laughs> i'm sure glad we got that in the first six, 16 minutes because <laughs> that would have been a shame for people to uh, to check out before that one yeah 2022 Pac. Can you imagine what he would have done with that? Oh my gosh. Cause he would have done how do you so how do you think he would have done it? Would it have been two zero and then T U P A C or would he have done it T two zero two U P A C? I think he'd just do twenty twenty two and just put a pack on the end of it. Twenty twenty two Pac. Yeah, I guess that's true. But who who knows? Either way, that thing would be at the top of the charts within five days. <laughs> oh yeah, man. He'd have another version of Californication, or no, not California, um, California Love. So, yeah, <laughs> Californication. That's Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, I hope they don't have a new album. <laughs> oh, my gosh, yeah. They're going to have to get a whole new set of LSD tablets out for that for that band to make a comeback. Okay, Landon, I think uh, another one that I don't think will get uh, blacked out, people will stop talking about Yellowstone. Oh, God. <laughs> now my wife does watch that show but and she doesn't talk about it she just watches it and i mean she enjoys it but i don't know I, i've watched a little bit of it and i'm sure it's a good show but i tell you what i can't talk enough about fargo that show i'm in the, i just started the third season last night and second season man i tell you what dude i think they kill more people than breaking bad does and i mean the way they do it is just so man it's just it's just it's just beautiful how they kill everybody so, uh, but uh, like I said, each season is a new is a new um, plot, and new characters and actors and everything. But whatever the case, <laughs> but you don't hear people talking about it. So yeah, true. All so, right, I got a new. I okay. Got one. So another one of mine is Anthony Fauci starts a true crime podcast <laughs> with all three words "true crime" and "podcast" all in each in their own quotations. <laughs> <laughs> true crime podcast <laughs> no i would or or it would be subtitled i am science <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then uh, another one i have is manual labor gets replaced with nothing <laughs> <laughs> so i've got one i think i've got one uh well no that goes back to the um that goes back to the arbor day deal <laughs> manual labor gets replaced with nothing that's for sure oh man okay how about um Two new letters are added to the alphabet. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what we would call them, but maybe like we'd steal it from like the Chinese alphabet, like like house top or <laughs> maybe rafter, something like that, <laughs> like a brand or something. A house with a chimney. <laughs> yeah, house, <laughs> yeah, with the smoke. You got the house with the chimney, and then the house with the chimney with the smoke coming out. <laughs> one's a paragraph, the other one's a story. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure that one may have a chance. I don't know. Okay, back in the um, back in the political atmosphere, Trump announces he's running for king. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I said it right, king. <laughs> I don't know what. 
That goes with one of mine. He actually becomes king. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, king, uh, yeah, King Trump the first. Oh man, that would be awesome. They'd call him the orange, the orange king. I have, I have one. I may need a little help with it. It's money becomes worthless and is replaced with. I have tic tacs, but there's probably something that that could be better. <laughs> yeah, I have tic tacs, but I'll take a junior man if you got one. What would money get replaced with in 2022? Well, I mean, on a non-comical level, it would be Bitcoin and and uh, all that cryptocurrency stuff. But um, this is not a comical level. No, that's not a comical level at all. I I don't even know if this podcast is on a comical level. <laughs> you know, we risk what we do, so whatever the case. It's on a level. Oh, it, we're on a level. I don't know if it's in the basement or not, but it's on a level somewhere. I you know. I don't know what what could be. I don't know, like maybe people. <laughs> I just don't, don't know. You just start picking people off, and you know, making the secretary of the treasury signing his name on their asses or something. And I don't know. Maybe that and that would pay to be fatter because the bigger the bigger the bill, the bigger the money. I don't know. Maybe maybe status is based on like how cool your mask is. Mm hmm. Oh yeah. So have you seen? I saw a picture on Twitter yesterday, and I mean, I'm assuming these are real because at this point in, in history, why wouldn't they be real? There was a lady on this airplane, and she had a. It looked like an astronaut helmet from the Apollo mission, except it was clear all the way around instead of oh, having the. And then she had like two respirator filters on the outside, you know, go go, uh, you know, filtering through the the shield, and then she's wearing a dusk mask inside you know inside the thing and then i saw another deal where this lady was walking through walmart and she had an umbrella and then she taped a plastic sheet all the way around the edge of the umbrella and it was going to the ground and she was like walking underneath it <laughs> dude it was so odd i mean it was so beautiful to think somebody would go to that much trouble oh yeah so anyway i don't know there may be a mental issue, a mental health issue in the country. I'm not too sure. But um, uh, uh, speaking of a comical level, or actually not a comical level, Stephen Colbert, Jimmy Kimmel, and Jimmy Fallon start being funny. I'm pretty sure that one's not going to get crossed off. But there's oh, always hope. Not. I can't even believe people still watch that. I mean, people don't watch those shows, but no. whatever the case. Well, uh, so, so we're in this age where all these shows are getting redone, like Saved by the Bell and mm -hmm. you know, pretty much. What what show would you like to see get get rebooted with the original cast from the eighties or nineties? The original cast, Baywatch wouldn't work because everything is hitting the ground at this point. Oh, uh, let's see. Which I guess they already did remake Baywatch, didn't they? Well, they did a movie, did a Baywatch they, movie. Man, they did, they did enough. <laughs> this is wrong, but Family Ties. <laughs> <laughs> Michael J. Fox. Oh man, no. <laughs> no Parkinson's jokes. I guess is it too soon? Maybe, maybe who, who's the boss? Who's that the with Alyssa Milano protesting the whole time? Oh gosh, I uh, forgot. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they'd call it. She's the boss. <laughs> yeah, she's the boss. She's the bitch. Uh, yeah. Let's see, Tony Danza. He's still alive, I guess. He's I think so. he's probably pretty uh, preserved in like formaldehyde and Botox and everything. Oh, you know that's a good question. What would be good? So they well, they, they've already redone Dallas, which I never really saw the original to be honest. But um, I wish they'd bring back My Name Is Earl. Uh, oh man, that'd be great. Oh yeah. Um, they brought back already brought back Ducktales because my boys are watching that. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else. I'm trying to think. What did we watch? Uh, the Wonder Years with the same cast. <laughs> That could be decent. Yeah. Of course, I mean, they're all grown up and everything. They tried to bring back Boy Meets World, I think. Did they really? <laughs> yeah. Full House? That might be a good one. Family. Well, no, they did. I mean, Fuller House. It's on Netflix. Oh, I meant, I meant not Full House. Uh, Steve Urkel. What's that? They have Family Matters. Yeah. Family Matters. That's it. Yeah. Except Carl Winslow comes back as the badass cop from Die Hard. And uh, yeah. Steve Urkel finally comes back with 30,000 restraining orders from Laura Winslow. So <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, <laughs> dude. I was actually looking, uh, looking at the Wikipedia page. So the youngest daughters of like the actress, she's a, she became a porn star. <laughs> Good Lord. Oh, Andy. Yeah. That, that was actually her name, her stage name to be on <laughs> handy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Brent, what's another one you got. Okay. Good. So I've got, 
Texas annexes Florida to become Texarida. <laughs> and we become the second largest G, uh, GDP on the, in the on the globe. We wouldn't become Florex. <laughs> <laughs> Florex. Dude, oh god, so I was watching uh the best of Consuela on Family Guy. We we need more we need, we need more plush. We need more plush. No. And no, uh, we need more Windex. No, I leave. I leave a film. I don't care about the film. <laughs> no, I leave. No, you go buy it. <laughs> is, is this? Is it trash? No, it's a working lip. It's okay. I take. I take. <laughs> Damn, it's just so true, man. <laughs> Damn, it's funny. Oh man. Okay, blue. The color blue is banned for being offensive. <laughs> I guess maybe it's mostly um, connected with men, so that's probably why it's being... <laughs> Blue is canceled. <laughs> no, one, of, one of mine is in 2022, the perfect joke gets told. It's neither funny nor offensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nor right. informative. <laughs> nor informative, nor true. <laughs> nor relevant. <laughs> yeah, nor relevant or topical. Okay, I've got two that are kind of connected. First of all, Bernie Sanders dies and then comes back as Jeffrey Dahmer. Bernie Sanders, now Jeffrey Dahmer, eats fat Walmart greeters. I'm not, I don't have big hopes for those. So, um, and now if we're going for a blackout bingo, my final square is Jeffrey Epstein's ghost doesn't kill himself. (laughs) Which I don't know how you would kill a ghost, but I guess maybe he's. I still need to go watch the new Ghostbusters movie. That that reminds me. He wouldn't have to because he wouldn't do it. That's true. That's true. <laughs> How would a ghost not commit suicide and still die? That's what I guess he's he's still well, of course he's a ghost because he because you know he has unfinished business. Ima- because... Imagine Im- imagine a bed sheet killing a ghost. <laughs> yeah. He runs himself into the corner of the bed or something like that. I don't know. It's um I don't know, that may be a reach. Landon, you got any more spaces? I think that's it. Yeah. Well, we hope that most of those things don't come true, na- namely the, uh, oh gosh, I mean, you, if Bernie Sanders dies, you don't really want him coming back, and I really do, blue is my favorite color, so, you know, those are, Trump is a king, that would be pretty interesting. That would be pretty cool. I mean, Melania, you don't, boy, you don't hear anything out of Melania, she may be, I don't know, they may have her on ice or something right now until Trump uh, announces something one way or the other. But yeah, that's exciting stuff. Well, Landon, where can we find Landon Nolan on the internet? Uh, no twit, Landon forty four. That's on the Twitter verse, the Twitter sphere on the Twitter website. You can find me at Trader Brent, and of course, find us through the Global Lag Network. And of course, we're everywhere. Uh, we're going to count how many times Brent says "of course" in this thing before the episode is over. But you can find me at Trader Brent, and there's a Global Ag Network. And be sure and check out our good friend Casey Seymour. He's got the Moving Iron podcast at Moving Iron LLC. I don't know why I'm giving him free advertising. And then, of course, check out our ad from the beginning of the episode for the National Pork Board. And, guys, until next time, y'all, have a happy new year. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, which leaves you to do pretty much whatever you want. So until next time, guys, until next year, we'll ask you. What side of the line are you on? The Dryline Farmer Podcast, a member of the Global Ag Network. There's podcasts, and then there's this, the Dryline Farmer Podcast.